What's up guys? Uh, it's Jonathan and I'm going to talk to you about Flash 750. So unfortunately this is the cover that I ended up with. Um, I, there, I think there were some better artwork covers. That's usually what I go for. Um, but this is I guess traditional of uh, what's been going on in the Flash for a while. Which is okay. I don't mind it. Um, but I feel like there's just a little too much going on on this, and I don't know why Barry's fighting Barry. Uh, Lewis got this pretty neat, a uh, pretty, well, it was okay. I had a choice to get this one, but I figured he'd like it better. Uh, shot of just Wally, just standing, kind of in a pose. And you knew it was Wally because it had the darker uh, red, not just the regular red. Um... But uh, it was okay. It wasn't my favorite either. I, I prefer the the Rebirth Wally design uh, because you really can tell it's him. But it is what it is. Um, I don't know that this book is worth $8. But, you know, it was okay. Um, there's a... Uh, there's some good stories. The first one is uh, by jo Joshua Williamson. It was okay. It's just a generic Barry Allen. And you can see some of the faces aren't aren't really that great. Um, but it was an okay story. It was enjoyable. Um, there's a Jay Garrick story in here. Um, somewhere. I don't remember where. It's real short. Oh, there it is. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, but it's really, really short. Uh, there's a Barry Allen story by Jeff Johns, but it's really about um, uh, Captain Cold. I skipped that one, honestly, uh, if we're going to be honest. Um, it just wasn't really my thing, you know? Uh, I just... It was boring. It didn't really... Uh, it was too much dialogue is really the thing. I'm sure it was, had a cool thing, but it just... Not, I say dialogue. Too many thought bubbles. Narration things. And I hate that. I don't want to read a, a novel. I want to read a comic book. That's my thing. Uh, so, whatever. Um, the, the end had uh, Wally West on the chair. You know, following the flash forward stuff. Um, which was... You know, I'm getting excited about it, I suppose. Mostly because they're giving Wally something to do. But, um, you know, they could have done that another way. This, you know, the rest of that Jay Garrick stuff. Um, love that, that artwork, though. But, uh, really what I, what I wanted to talk about was the Marv Wolfman story. If you've been on the channel for a long time... Lewis and I are big Wolfman and Perez fans. I think they're the best team up in history. Um, I know, I know. You've got Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, but I really prefer Marv Wolfman and Perez. They gave us the New Teen Titans. Uh, they gave us the uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Is that right, Lewis? Yeah, I think that's the, the one. Um, just some really great writing went on. Uh, Marvel Wolfman created my favorite characters. Some, um, he did, uh, uh, Green Air, or not Green Air, sorry, that's Grill. Uh, he did, uh, Nightwing, which was in Nineteen Titans, which is my favorite Titans run. Titans also my favorite team. Um, he created, uh, Tim Drake, uh, and many others that I really enjoy. Um, uh, Deathstroke, he created Deathstroke. One of my favorite villains. Um, I mean, he's not the top by any means, but he is up there. He's a cool, cool villain. Anyways, so Marvel Wolfman does a story in here, and it's pretty fun. Uh, it's nothing like mind-boggling. It's nothing crazy, but the problem is it is nearly ruined by the art. And I'm pretty sure it's the same artist that's on uh, Martian Manhunter, and it's awful. It is just awful. Um, let's, let's dive into this. Um, yeah, that's a face that's Barry Allen. Just, 
Just some really bad. Look at that chin. Like, it's just not good at all. Which is really sad. Um, because I really like Wolfman. Now, Lewis mentioned when I talked to him about it, like this, it's got like a funhouse feel. But it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. I mean, it's just, the artwork is bad. And like, that's supposed to be a normal Wally. And, yeah, I just, that's Wally back to normal. Like, what is this? This is not good. I mean, you can't really tell with that one, but just the artwork, just really, really bad. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I enjoyed most of this book. It, it wasn't worth $8, but, you know, I, you know, I got it anyways. So if you get a chance later on and you get this like pretty cheap, go ahead and pick it up. It's uh it's a it's a fun read. Even the Marvel Wolfman story is is it's fun. I enjoy it. Um, but you know, know that the Marvel Wolfman story is almost ruined by the the really really bad art. Um, but the other stories are fun. Uh, of course, I didn't look again. There were there was one that I skipped um, because I just get super tired of reading overly used narration and it didn't seem to have any point um people the writers try to be meta in and all that kind of stuff and um it just doesn't work all the time and so my opinion in writing less is more um so that's my thoughts on this uh extra size spectacular flash um uh, it was it was it was okay. Um, it wasn't Detective Comics 1000. It wasn't um, uh, Action Comics 1000. But but yeah, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to welcome you to the family. Uh, give us a like if you enjoyed this, uh, or dislike if you don't like this. I don't. I don't really understand why people dislike videos most of the time, but, uh, you do you, man. You, you do you. Um, <laughs> I don't care, uh, what you do, uh, as far as liking, but, you know, likes are fun. Um, we like to be liked, right? Anyways, <laughs> uh, we love, I uh, love to hear from you in the, in the comments. Tell me why, what you, what you disagree with, what you like, did you, uh, I think that my stuff, my take on the art was bad. My take on some of the other things was bad. Let me know, because I'd love to discuss it. Um, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.